Hey everyone, this is Joe. I am the Digital Astronomer. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you here today. Um, the last week has been a bit frustrating. Over the 4th of July weekend, I had the entire week off uh, from work and um, I thought it was going to be great. I looked at my uh, clear skies chart on my phone and uh, I looked like I was going to have clear skies, great seeing conditions, relatively comfortable temperatures to shoot in for this time of the year. I thought, great, everything's going to be good. But on the very first night of my vacation, what ended up happening was smoke rolled in from the west, uh, from the uh, wildfires out west, and it completely obliterated those nights. And so while I, I really feel for those that are, are, are dealing with the fires out west, uh, I will say that uh, it, it completely ruined uh, the nights that I'd hoped to be able to image. And so what that meant was, what was I going to talk about this week on my channel? What was I going to share with you? So what I'm going to do today, instead of showing you anything new, is I'm going to go back to a couple of older images, and I want to talk about a few ways that I sharpen images. And in particular, I want to share with you a new little um, add-on to Photoshop that I found called Auto Point Focus. Now, some of you may already be familiar with that. It's been around for a number of years. It's been developed by an amateur astronomer named Christoph Kaltes, and it has been used by the Hubble team, and you can pick it up for about 30 bucks and put it on your Photoshop, and I found that it's really working well. Now, I'm going to compare that to a couple other tools that I use in Photoshop, but we're going to talk a little bit about sharpening. Now, let me caveat this discussion by saying this. I am not an expert in how to process astro pixel or, or astrophotography uh, pictures. Uh, very frankly, I don't know anybody other than maybe Trevor and Chuck that are experts in this. We're all trying to learn it. We're all trying to pick up uh, tips from each other. So if you've got some tips or you've got some tools that can help with sharpening, please put them in the comments. If you've got some ways that work a little bit better by all means put them in there but I just want to show you a couple of the tools that I'm using and that I've had some success with so stick around I'll be right back Okay, what I want to do really quick is just show you, using this lunar image, um, uh, several tools that I could use to sharpen the image up. First thing I could do is, in Photoshop, uh, I could go over to Filter, and I could go to Sharpen, and I could select any one of these tools to try to sharpen the image up a little bit. And when I first started out with astrophotography, that's all I knew how to do. And so I used them and the results were okay. Now, I think if you've been using Photoshop for any length of time, you know that the better option is to go up here and under Camera Raw and use the sharpening tool there. And so I'll just show it to you. Most of you know where this is at. Nothing new to you. You go under details, under the detail tab, uh, slide up the sharpening level, and this will sharpen your image up a great deal. Okay? And you can adjust this. And you can see every time I pull that up, look right in this area here, right around, uh, the, I think this is the Hadley Rill. And as you look at that, this is where we started off with. And look how much clearer the reel becomes when I pull that slider up. And so using Camera Raw, that's probably the most frequent way that I sharpen my images. I use that a great deal. Um, but there are a couple of tools that I have added on that also can help sharpen up an image like this. Okay, So let me go out of here real quick and show you one way I can do it is with Topaz Labs, Topaz Denoise uh, AI. This is an add-on uh, to Photoshop. It's going to cost you a few bucks, um, but it's a pretty cool tool, and uh, it works really well. This is the original image. This is the denoised and sharpened image. And again, I can adjust this. I could pull this up and make it 
very, you know, really increase the sharpness. Take a couple of seconds. Um, by the way, this is a small preview section. You can see this is the larger picture. And then this is zoomed in a little bit more. And you can see when I pulled the sharpness up, it starts bringing out some of the details here. Um, and overall, uh, Topaz Denoise obviously is a better tool for denoising an image than it is sharpening. But if you've got a pretty good image and you, you know, you want to use this to remove some of the, the, the noise and then still sharpen it up a little bit, it works pretty good. And you can play around with this. There's all kinds of things that you can do with it. The new way of sharpening that I have found, my latest, new to me, let me put it that way, is this little uh, plug-in uh, called APF-R, which means Auto Point Focus. And I'll open this up um, here for you real quick. Let me just uh, grab this real quick here. And here is the website where I found this. This is on uh, picture-instruments.com. Uh, and this is $29. This was developed by a fellow named Christoph Kaltes. Uh, I think that's how you say that name. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, he is an amateur astrophotographer, has developed this uh, way of sharpening, and it has even been used by the Hubble team, according to this site. Let me show you how well this thing really works, okay? I'm not going to change. These are the default settings that came with it. I've got the uh, radius slid all the way up to 3.0. I've got the factor set at fine. If I click on sharpen, watch what it'll do. It'll run through a whole series of steps, which you can see it doing right now. And then it's going to give me a sharpened image. And we'll just compare the two and you'll see. This is the sharpened image. That's the unsharpened image. Look how much more detail comes out. And for lunar photography in particular, I have found this APFR to work incredibly well. That's the, this is, we'll zoom in there just a little bit. Look here at how much more detail you're able to see. That's the unsharpened version. That's the sharpened, oops, that's the sharpened version. Now let's just run that just to see on a deep sky object how well that works. Okay, let me close that out. And I'm going to open up this picture of M101. We'll zoom in just a little bit. Watch what happens now. If I click on that and I click on sharpen, watch how much more detail is going to stand out in these uh, dust lanes of the galaxy when this is done. And one thing I've noticed so far with this APF-R, it doesn't, it doesn't really seem to over uh, sharpen or mess up my stars. Um, now you may, that's a, that's a matter of taste. You may disagree with that, but okay, that's the sharpened version. That's the unsharpened version. Look how much more detail is in those arms. Unsharpened, sharpened. And look what it did. It didn't change my stars at all, or at least I don't think it did. And so I am really pleased with that. Let me go back. Let me just erase these two levels. Let me erase these, these two uh, layers. And let's switch that up to extra fine. And let's see what that does. Now, again, you might have to slide this radius button up and, or a slider up and down, and you can play around with it to see what gives you the best results. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. This is the extra fine version coming up here in just a second. Don't know how much difference it'll make. It takes a couple of seconds for it to run through the whole process. There's extra fine. Okay, so let's look that's the original picture. That's the sharpened using the extra fine detail. Again, I think much better. It has really cleaned up a lot for me. So um, there's a few different ways to sharpen it. I like this APF-R. Um, pick it up. Um, see if you like it. Again, you can pick it up on this website over here. Uh, picture-instruments.com. Uh, uh, By the way, I am not endorsed by them at all. This is a simply my review of it. Um, I think absolute point of focus works incredibly well at sharpening um, um, pictures. 
and uh, Astro Pictures, and I hope you do too. Check it out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Click on like and share it with your friends to help me spread the word. Thanks for tuning in this week.